Right now, face masks are basically gold. They're sold out pretty much everywhere you can buy them. One of the central business storylines of the coronavirus crisis has been the shortage of so face masks. Which sucks, but I saw this pretty simple tutorial on how you can make one with like just a sock on TikTok. So we're gonna try that out today and see if it actually works. So this is the exact same method the other video used. So you just cut the sock into a tube and then cut down the middle and then cut two slits on the side for holes. This isn't protective, but at the end I'll show you guys how you can make this a better mask to fully protect you if you need it to. Okay, so this is the final reveal. Let's see if this thing actually works. This is the video that went viral on TikTok showing us this hack. And let's see if it's even possible because I honestly have my suspicions like there could have been a lot of different ways to replicate, to fake this basically. So as you can see I'm wearing it and it, it works out fine. I just have small ears so all masks are like a struggle for me to put on. But if you have normal ears you should be fine. It, it does what it's supposed to do, it covers your face. And if you have normal size ears, you'll be fine. But I have really small ears, so all masks are a little bit more of a struggle for me anyway. In the comments of the video, I saw a lot of people complaining about things like this not actually protecting you. And while I would agree that is true, it is just a piece of fabric over your face and there's no like real barrier, I you could put cut out a piece of filter, air filter, just filters you buy for your house. If you cut out a circle of that, you can put it in here and it will protect you from bacteria. But you just have to make sure it doesn't have like fiberglass or anything like that in it. And they sell plenty of those now because people are just becoming more concerned with their health. So they have a lot of filters that don't have fiberglass in it. And honestly, if you just need to run out and get something but you don't have a mask, I know some states don't even let you inside of their stores without one. It works fine, like it does what it's supposed to do, so just consider it, I mean. And when you think about the fact that we don't want to be buying up ridiculous amounts of like masks and stuff, especially in a time like this because healthcare workers need it and without with us buying more of it, it increases the price and drives up the demand, which means they'll get less of what they need and they'll have to pay more. Like we should kind of put ourselves in the back seat so people who are actually risking their lives every day can have access to this stuff. So just let me know what you think. Um, I'll be posting the original video in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.